Come in. I knew I'd chosen well. Thank you. There's eleven of you. All with something of her. Maybe the tiniest of elements, but you were by far the closest match. I know, I saw the pictures. Quite uncanny. Do you mind if I take a selfie? Of course. It's just it's one thing I never did with Auntie, you see. A selfie. Here we go. Can I ask you not to smile so broadly? Auntie never did, you see. A little more severity in the eyes, maybe. And could you, uh, could you pull the wig down slightly more to the left? Whatever you want. <laughs> Great. That's great. She'd be proud. Well, she, she wouldn't have been in it with me, but I suppose if she was kinder, she'd have been proud. Is this your first visit to the final goodbye agency? No, I came when Grandpops passed away. The guy I selected was a nice old chap, but something wasn't quite right, you see. It didn't smell of him. I could tell when I hugged him, you see. So I, I phoned the agency and sent him back, and when he returned he was doused in Old Spice, so it was a bit better then. So you had a lovely final chat? Quite. Have you had any other commissions? A woman from Carlisle said I was the spitting image of her partner. Dead ringer. Oh, sorry, that wasn't meant to be a pun. Oh, no. It takes more than that to offend me. It was a lovely experience, actually. We'd just had a walk in Dorset and a lovely cream tea in a cute little coffee shop. We didn't hold hands. That wasn't a thing for them, apparently. She said how much she missed me, how much she loved me, and that no one else could fill her shoes. Which was quite ironic, seeing as I was literally wearing her shoes. She never got to say those things in real life. No. It was very sudden. A car crash. She stood at the gate in a field as I walked away in the sunset. It was beautiful. But then I saw her the next day in Tesco's, and the illusion was completely shattered. Oh, I live 80 miles away, so that won't happen with me. That's good. So have you learnt the script? All learnt. I'm not an actress, but I'll do my best. And your voice, no offence, but could you soften it a bit? Like this? Yeah. And at the end I might hug you, if that's okay. It's okay. It's just it said in the contract that any physical encounter has to be agreed by both parties. Tight hug or a loose hug, which would you prefer? Doesn't really matter, I suppose. She wasn't really a hugger, that's why I'm doing it. Right. I'm going to walk out and then come back in and then you'll be my auntie for one last time. Right-o. I think probably best without the accent. Oh, I thought it's It's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. Right. Oh, Nick, my favourite grandson. Come and sit down and talk to your favourite Auntie Joan. Of course, Auntie. It's nice to see you. I brought you flowers as well. How nice. What a lovely bouquet. I'll just put them in some water. We haven't got a vase. On the floor's fine. Down here? Whatever, just don't ruin the moment. So... We've been given this final opportunity so I can really say what I feel. And I think I should make the most of it. You baked the best Victoria sponges. You gave me some lovely Christmas presents and I really enjoyed our chats in front of the fire at Christmas time. But can I just say, towards the end, you got really snappy. I was excited to tell you about my exam results and about the prom, but you started to get more distant. And I know that wasn't entirely your fault, you, you were getting dementia, but... I'm sorry you felt that way, Nick. But are you, though? I, I know as we get older we get grumpier, more sullen, but... It's like you weren't my auntie anymore. Your face lost its warmth, it became pinched, the smallest thing seemed to irritate you, and I just wanted to spend time with you, feel loved. I'm sure you were loved, Nick. That's 
Not in the script. It's my bit now. You just listen no, to me. I'm as just I... trying to say that your auntie would still have loved you. Oh, that's the illusion totally broken now, isn't it? Look, I have a niece, Emily. I know I'm not as old as your aunt when she passed, but every few months when I see her, I can tell there's a difference in my energy levels. It's called getting older. Doesn't mean I love her any less. I didn't think this was about you. Do you mind my saying? You're very selfish. Oh, well that's definitely going back to the agency. Only child? No, I have a half-sister, actually. Auntie. I'm not your auntie. I'm Margot Collins from Worcester. And this bloody wig is ridiculous and uncomfortable. I, I could sue. You could. Defamation of memories. You you're nothing like her. You can't force your memories. You can't Photoshop those moments. You have to leave them where they are. Good and bad. If your auntie was here now, do you think she'd listen to your rant? Or do you think she'd give you what for? The last option. Right. Well, on behalf of your auntie, man up, grow a pair, and stop being so self-absorbed. That's her. Sorry? That's it. You, you just captured her perfectly. Good. I think I'd forgotten what I really liked about her. Goodbye, auntie.